I am going to try my pe pest best <clears throat> to post a video um, every day leading up into the show since I've got a little bit more time um, this peak week, as I hate to call it, going into a show. So I thought while I could, I would just um, try to post as much as possible. I do still have morning clients that I am working with and I've got one afternoon client today and then tomorrow I just have a group of morning clients and then I'm done until show day. So um, I think today I'm going to try to, I can't decide if I want to do my lashes myself or if I want to go have someone put lashes on. So I think I'm going to try to decide on that um, because the place that I got my nails does lashes as well. So, there's that, and so another update for you is that I stepped on the scale this morning, and I was 125.2, so yes, we are moving in the right direction, um, I am trying to gain a little bit of weight and fill out more, um, I'm too hard, too lean, if you watched my last video, then you know what I'm talking about, so there's that, anyway, um, I just wanted to kind of start this off um, and tell you guys Thank you so much for all the love and support. Um, I get a lot of messages on Instagram, and um, I appreciate that. So, anyway, I'll check back in with you guys in a bit after I finish with, like, my main group of clients. Before we leave, I put it back down and went and set the weight. It was low. Yesterday, it is Thursday, June 17th. I am two days out from June Rations. Um, yesterday, I worked and I wasn't feeling very good. <coughs> I had a really bad headache. Um, so, yeah, I didn't get a lot of content. All I got was pretty much me training, and that was just it. Um, I'll give you guys an update, though. Weight has gone back up, so that's good. I'm filling out little by little. We hit a good point, so now we're just trying to maintain and kind of go from there. So, uh, I'm sorry, it's like 7.30. I don't have any clients for today. I do have to set up my schedule for so, I'm going to work on setting up clients for next week. Um, today, I am just going to relax. I went ahead and started putting my tan on just a little bit, just because I'm so white. Um, I did not tan before the show. Didn't have time. Didn't feel like it. Um, look at this. Little baby. You're the cutest. Oh my god. Jesus, so cute. Um, so I'll just kind of take you guys along with me today, and we'll go from there. Today will be my last day of training also. Um, oh, wait, hey, I don't know if I said this before. I think I did. My weight has gone back up. We're moving in the right direction, blah, 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 blah. I'll talk more about that later. Anyway, I'm going to feed her. I am going to make some coffee for myself and start working on my schedule. Good afternoon, everyone. So, we are about to head to Gold's Gym on Lee Highway. Um, we were there earlier this week. Um, I believe that's the session that we get chest, back, and shoulders with. Um, I'm just
going to do shoulders today. I'm going to get a really good shoulder pump going on. And this is going to be my final workout of the week. Um, update on everything this morning. My weight held steady, which is a really good sign. Um, that's what we want. Also, um, my stomach was super flat when I woke up this morning, which is another good sign. Um, one thing that I have personally struggled with um, for like the past probably two or three years is I get this belly bloat whenever I eat. Um, I do take digestive enzymes and probiotics, all that kind of stuff. This year we've done a lot of work to try to make sure we keep that at a minimum. Um, the only issue that I'm having now is, is not necessarily the foods. It's the fact that I'm having to eat a lot of them. Um, so like my first three meals all have double carbs in them. So, you know, that's a lot for someone with a small stomach. So, you know, we're just trying to make sure that we're choosing foods that I've been eating this whole time that are easily digestible, all that kind of good stuff. Um, so that's where we're at on that. I feel really good about everything. I think we're going to be bringing a really great package and, you know, regardless of what happens, I can say that, you know, I'm pleased with how things have gone and had a lot of people ask me what in 1.6 miles turn left onto Central Avenue I've had a lot of people ask me what this week's like nutrition and everything like that looks like and I really can't give you that for one you know you need to pay him um, because that's his knowledge uh, two I I can't show you that because it just changes every day so it really just depends on how I'm looking there were some days where I had additional carbs at night. There were some days where I had additional fats at night and not the additional carbs. So, hey, it really is just fine tuning. Also, you know, I'll mention this with the whole belly bloat thing. I had in the past when I'd worked with some previous people, had been doing macros. Not that there's anything wrong with macros. If that works for you, I found myself trying to fit in next an Turn Oreo, left. or I found myself trying to fit in extra protein balls, or like how could I manipulate my macros to get the things that I really wanted. That is totally different. Um, I think that's what a lot of people have a misconception <clears throat> about. Competition and lifestyle are not the same. So, I digress back to where I was at. I can personally tell you that I found myself trying to fit stuff in that I knew I shouldn't have. Now, let me preface this by saying competing is different than lifestyle. Like, if I'm just out here living my best life, I'm not going to worry about if I'm trying to fit in a Oreo or whatnot. But for a stage look, at least for me, I can't do that. Even my clients that are on macros that are competition clients, I switch them by at least eight weeks out to a standard meal plan. Um, like that. So, you know, that's one thing that we went back to with doing this competition prep. We went back to old school standard bodybuilding plan. Um, of course, we had to have some modifications. Um, Carly, my client, is a great testament of this. We had been doing macros. Her weight was doing this, doing this, doing this. Once we switched to a strict meal plan, it cut out any variable, any variable. And her body started changing because I did find, find out I was allergic to eggs. And I had the same reaction to chicken, um, which you know, could have also been part of my belly bloat issues as well. However, um, turn right. Now again, lifestyle, you could probably do macros and have good success with it. Um, lose some body fat, still have the things that you want and enjoy competition. Not the same. That's why I tried to preface the pictures and stuff that I was posting yesterday on Facebook is that competing lifestyle two different things so anyway um 
double of my cream of rice, double of my grits, double of my jasmine rice, which I have post-workout. Um, I can tell you one thing that we did change. Um, just kind of give you a little back story on that and what we're doing. I still am having double carbs <clears throat> at my first three meals. So we're on the way to the gym. So I hope you guys have an awesome day. Um, after we hit Gold's, we're going to head to not say the name of it. I was eating mahi mahi and cod. Um, I think my fish went bad, so Start I had to get rid of it. And Street. we just stuck with uh, turkey. So um, we actually think that that has helped me fill out a little bit more. Um, the mahi mahi and the cod probably helps me get to this point. But um, Ryan made a good point yesterday and say that the turkey probably helps me fill out gym. a little bit more. So, anyway. Proceed to Central Avenue, um, then turn left. That's pretty much it, guys. Just kind of wanted to give you a little update and to chit-chat about that real quick. Uh, At the stop sign, turn right they onto have 10th Street. Awesome lighting there. Um, so Ryan's just gonna look at me there. Plus I've got a little bit of tan on now. I did start putting tan on yesterday just because I am so white. I didn't tan at all for this show. Um, so yeah, anyway. Um, both great gyms if you're in Chattanooga, you need to check both of those out. Um, we trained at a Goji last week. Again, I think that is totally not the right way to say that name. Um, In one mile, so turn left onto Roscoe Boulevard. Check that gym out. It's a smaller gym. Um, it's not a corporate gym. Um, and they've got great lighting. So, anyway guys, um, I will check back in with you later. I hope you are having an awesome day. Alright guys, so here we are. We are one day out from Junior Nationals. Um, woke up this morning, was 127. Um, so weight has been steadily going up, which is what we've been wanting to see. And um, yeah, I feel, well, I mean, I feel like I'm bringing my best package. Physically, I feel congested as hell today. And um, I feel I have like, you know, all that sinus pressure and everything. Um, I did take some Benadryl last night, so I slept pretty good, but, oh, uh, look at these eye bags. Um, <clears throat> so other than, like, the congestion and the pressure on my face, I feel pretty good about everything. Um, as you guys know, we've been doing, like, double carbs at my first three meals. Uh, well, today's just check-in day. Um, not going to, like, do any workout or anything like that, so it'll just be double carbs at my first two meals. Um, and we're keeping everything else pretty much the same. Um, I will be, I do my own hair, tan, and makeup. So I'll be getting up early in the morning um, to do my makeup. I am wearing a wig this year. Um, so it, like one of the number one things that usually stresses me out on show day is my hair. Um, I hate wearing extensions. I hate how they feel. I have a tiny head anyway, literally. Like, I can't wear baseball caps. If I wear a baseball cap, it has to be a kid size. That's how small my head is. So when I put these hair extensions in, it feels like there's just so much weight on my head. Um, and since my hair is on the thin side, I usually end up having to wear like more than you normally would. So I just decided to go with a wig this year and it actually looks really great. I've actually found several that I'm super happy with. Um, a short one, I found a headband one, I've found ponytails, so um, yeah, there's that. I have an appointment with one of my clients uh, next Friday who is a hairdresser, um, so he's going to kind of fix my hair the way that I want it. Um, I want kind of like a little shadow root with, you know, blonde in it. So that's what we're going to do. Um, and if this wig works out, which I think it will, 
Um, I'm just gonna shoot for wigs at my shows until I can get my hair longer again. Um, it's easy, you can just pop it on and boom, it's already fixed. You just do a little bit to it, give it some volume around the roots and you're good to go. So that's what I'm gonna be doing with my hair, makeup. Um, I was going to do a smoky eye, like I've done smoky eyes in the past, but I was watching a video, I feel like it might have been Sean's Couture, um, and she had mentioned how smoky eyes on stage kind of make your eyes look smaller, so she mentioned doing kind of like a um, brown smoky eye, something that's a little bit lighter, so I think I'm going to go with that and do like a brown smoky um, with like some copper and then um, a little bit of like glitter shadow like on it. So um, that's that. Tan, um, I started doing my coats yesterday. Not yesterday, Wednesday. So today's Friday. I started with a coat Wednesday night um, just because I am so, so white. Um, I didn't tan at all this year. Um, to be honest with you, I didn't feel like it. And my schedule had gotten so hectic that, you know, even finding time to get my own training in was becoming difficult. So then you add in tanning on top of that. It just wasn't, I just didn't make it a priority, to be honest. So I started with a coat Wednesday night and the coat that I put on, it's some, I don't know, maybe it was the bowl that I was using. I'm not sure, but it went on way different than it normally does. So I use, I have both Pro Tan and Liquid Sun Rays. However, when I've done my own tan, I've only used Pro Tan. I have the Liquid Sun Rays because I've gotten Liquid Sun Rays before sprayed by them and I really loved the color. So I decided to get some of it just to have on hand in case I needed it. But I am using Pro Tan. So I put the competition, the overnight competition tan on Wednesday, but it went on real different. It was like a, uh, almost kind of had like a blackish tint to it. Um, so I think it was the ball that I was using because I put, I, I got up and I just kind of went with it and left it on, got up the next morning, washed it off. And then um, yesterday I put on uh, kind of another coat of just the overnight and it went on how it was supposed to like it had that brownish goldenish color that you're looking for so I put one and I would say probably one and a half coat so I put on a coat and then another light coat and then I just got out of the shower again so tonight what I'll do is I will mix um, equal parts of the competition overnight color and the super dark and I'll put on two coats of that in the morning, I'll put on one more coat of Super Dark just by itself. Um, and then I should be able, I should be good to go. Before I walk out the door, I will put on a coat of the Instant Top Coat. And yeah, that should be all I have to do. Um, luckily, if anything happens, there are several spray tanning companies here. There is Liquid Sunrays here. There is Pro Tan here. Um, and I know that I can walk up and give them cash if I need to and have them fix whatever if something goes wrong. So there's that. Um, suit right now I am still going to wear, let me see if I got it. So this is the suit I'm currently planning to wear. However, I am going to be watching the show tonight to see what the stage looks like and um, I may or may not change it depending on the stage but it is um, a turquoise with clear and blue stones if you guys don't know I make suits this is one of mine so I actually had this one for a long time a bunch of my suits that I have I made during quarantine um, obviously my business went down because shows got canceled. So kind of throughout quarantine and while I was in Alabama with my family, I just worked on suits, um, and made whatever suit that I wanted. So 
Um, I have quite a plethora of personal suits. <laughs> and usually what I'll do is if I go through, like the next year I'll go back through the suits that I have and then what I think I don't want or what I'm not going to, what I think I'm probably not going to wear, um, I usually end up selling for a discounted price. So um, you can also check out my suit page. It's Chisel and Stone Suits. Um, a lot of, I sold a bunch of these like this, I don't know, probably a month ago, a month ago for $160 including shipping. And I mean, for a suit that's covered, that's a great price. But anyway, this is the one that I am currently planning on wearing. It's the one that I've been practicing in, all that kind of stuff. Um, however, um, if the stage, depending on what color the stage is, I may go with a different color. Like if the background of the stage is blue, um, I may go with an opposite color like red. Um, so anyway, or if the background's kind of a reddish oranges, orangish color like the poster, um, then I'll either stick with this color or go with a dark blue because I have a dark blue with, with me as well. So, um, and I have purple. So blue, purple, something in that color scheme would go well against a reddish orangish. Um, the complementary color to red is green and I do have some green suits with me. Um, however, my posing coach doesn't really like green on stage for some reason. Um, but you know what? I usually just wear whatever I feel like wearing that day. So if I get up and this, I'm just not feeling this suit on me or it's not going good with my look, I may change it. So, um, it's, you know, partial, it's listening to feedback from your coaches and all of that. But, you know, at the end of the day, you have to do this for yourself and wear whatever color suit you want to wear. Do your hair however you want to do it. If you want to do a smoky eye, do a smoky eye. You know what I'm saying? So you're the one that's stepping on stage. Um, and if you've listened to your coach and you've put in all the hard work, you know, go up there and present it to the best of your abilities. Um, go up there and have a good time. You want to feel confident on stage. And if you're trying to conform to the looks and needs of other people, and you're not happy with how you look in general, and you don't like it, then your confidence on stage is going to show that. Stop. So, anyway, um, that is kind of a one day out. Check in with you guys. Um, trying to think. I haven't done cardio. People always ask about training cardio. So, I, in previous videos, you saw my training for the week. Um, my training... I, I was just kind of going for a pump this week. I wasn't necessarily going for let me lift as heavy as I can, all that kind of stuff. Really just trying to get some blood flow in those muscles. But all the way leading up to the show, my training pretty much didn't change. It never really varied that much. Um, there might have been some things that I switched out. Like um, I think I switched out some squats for some sumo squats, just some things that kind of felt better. Um, on my body, but other than that, the basis of everything pretty much stayed the same. I did cardio up until two weeks ago, um, when my weight started dropping drastically and we were having trouble keeping it on, we cut cardio out. Um, that's not to say that you should do the same thing. In the past, I have done cardio up until like one day out or even one day out. I've done cardio. So... You have to understand that your prep is going to vary from show to show and um, things may not be be the same for me as they are for you so just keep that in mind um I'm trying to think if there's anything else that's pretty much else that's pretty much all that i can think of right now um anything else i'll talk about later and check-ins are from two to six today so i am going to um check in in just a little bit and I will post pictures and video and all of that for you guys too. So check back in with me later. All right guys, terrible lighting, but um, I am, I just finished getting ready to go to check-ins. Um, I have my headband wig on that I absolutely love. Anyway, um, 
let's see, what are my thoughts? You know, I'm a little nervous. Um, I hope that I'm bringing a, a physique that the judges like, but at the same time, I know that this is a subjective sport and <clears throat> I can't base my value on what the judges say. Um, I mean, in this sport, because I love it, I like pushing myself, I like progressing, um, I like stepping on stage. Um, but at the same time, I think it can give uh, males and females like a lot of like mental self-esteem issues. Um, and I know that my value as a person, okay, does not hinge on how I place at this show. And I think sometimes a lot of people like intercede those and that's where the unhealthy relationship with the sport can come into play. Um, I, you know, I don't know anybody that doesn't go to a competition and wants and, and doesn't care about how they do. Um, I wanna do well, I do. I wanna be in that first call out, but also with my track record, it's kind of been all over the place. Um, I've had shows where I've been in last call outs, shows where I've been in second call outs, shows where I've been in first call outs. I've had shows where I've not placed and shows where I have placed. It's just all over the place. So, you know, it's been a long journey for me. I've been doing this since 2012. And... I almost burned myself out in 2019 and those videos are on here where I did like so many shows. <sighs> I wish I would have not done that to be honest with you. I wish I would have just, after I got my fourth place in 2019, I wish I would have just stopped, but I did go on and get first place in December, but still nonetheless, like my body was just over it and then I really wanted to take a long off season and I only had eight weeks and my coach put me right back into prep um and you know that's partially on my fault I should have spoken up and said hey I want a longer prep but at the same time she told me she thought I would be ready and then COVID hit and blah 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 blah, blah. it was just you know it's been a mess so As badly as I want to do well, there's also part of me that's like, it's okay if you don't. It's not like this is the only show of the season. There's many other shows. Um, and I wanna get that pro card, I do. But it's getting to a point with me where I'm just like, is it really worth it? I need to make sure that my motives are in check and that why I'm doing this is for me. Um, and if there's at any point where I'm just absolutely sick and tired of it, I just need to stop. And I'm not saying stop forever, but stop for a little bit, give myself a break, you know? Which I had a longer off season, I had six months, almost seven. I really wanted to take almost a year, but since this show is like kind of right in my back door, I felt like I really couldn't pass it up. So yeah, there's that. Anyway, um, that's just some random thoughts of mine before check-ins. Um, I did do just some light makeup. I didn't put any eye makeup on. I did put my lashes on because I was like, I'll go ahead and put my lashes on and just leave them on. But I hate how they turned out and I don't feel like redoing them. So when I get back, I'm gonna do another coat of tan. I'm gonna take my makeup off. I'm gonna do another coat of tan. I'm gonna take these lashes off and redo these lashes. 
Um, cause I don't want to have to do lashes in the morning. Lashes take the longest time for me. I was going to go get my lashes done. Um, like in Nashville, the nail place that I go to, they just, they do the adhesive lashes and they just do them singles and they do them under the eye. They look really awesome, but I couldn't find a place here in Chattanooga that does that. Sorry, sidetracked. I couldn't find a place here in Chattanooga that does that. So, um, yeah. I am just going to do the strips. Um, I have to break it to Ryan that we have to stop and get another eyelash curler because mine is awful. Anyway, um, that's pretty much it, guys. Just some random thoughts before I head to check-ins. <sighs> and that's it. I will see you guys in a bit. All right, guys, it is show day. I am number 150. I believe I'm in class G. I honestly didn't ask. They just measured me in right at 5'7", so I just assumed I was in class G. Um, at the stop sign, yeah, turn so left onto Carter Street. I feel like make a at West 13th Street. my makeup looks good, my wig and my hair looks good. I did have some issues with the tan, so um, when I started tanning, like. I think I had mentioned this, something was kind of off with the tan. Um, I don't really know. It was more of like a black color than like, uh, like a brownish, reddish color. So, um, I had some dry spots on my booty and we got that taken care of. So, watch anyway. that black ice. Um, It'll get you. So, here we are. Proceed. Sorry, we got to the menu a lot quicker than what I had expected. So, um, yeah. So, anyway, I had some issues with the tan. Like, I had some dry spots on my butt where I sit down um, that I usually use barrier cream on. And I use the barrier cream, but for some reason, whatever happened with this, like, first two coats of tan, oh, it, looks, it just messed it up. So, I spent the rest of the time trying to blend. Um, I think I've got it all blended in, um, but when I'm backstage, when I get glazed, I'm just gonna have them take a quick look over everything and kind of touch up if needed. So yeah, so we're at the venue um, and I have an NPC tracksuit on, waiting on Ryan, he's parking, coming up, and then yeah, we're just gonna do this. At this point, you can't change anything, so it is what it is. And you know, I'm bringing the best physique that I can bring, and that is all that I can do. So I'll check back in with you guys later. 150, Casey Burks. I got moved to the center of third callouts, which most likely means that I'm like 15th or on after that. They just place everyone 16th. So there's that. I will say that, you know, um, 
in my opinion, they went with the harder look, which um, I feel like if I had taken my package uh, from last week, probably would have done better. Um, but we went the path of bringing in a softer, fuller look, and that didn't go over so well. Um, I will say, you know, this is probably the best I have looked being softer and fuller. Like my stomach wasn't bloated out. I still have abs. I still have definition in my legs and everything. I will say this is probably the best fullest look that I've ever brought. Um, however, that's not what they went with today. So, you know, the judges can only judge what's on stage and they just went for that harder look. So, I just feel like if I would have taken the look that I had last week, then, you know, probably would have placed higher. I'm not saying I would have been in first call out, but I think I would have done better than what I did. Um, do you want to add anything? Uh, they just went with a uh, harder look, in my opinion. Um, I think we were hard or that hard two weeks ago, 10 days ago, even a week ago. But, uh, you know, we tried to play the game and uh, it uh, burned us, I guess, a little bit. Because uh, we had that harder look. But overall, this is the fullest with uh, the flat stomach that she's that I think she's ever brought. And that's not because I'm doing her diet. I've seen her at, I don't know, 20 shows, 15 shows. Um, I just think this is the fullest and and tightest stomach-wise package that, that we have brought. The most muscular look. And I know maybe that's a, 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 a devil name or a bad thing, muscle in bikini, but um, there is muscle in bikini. They have shoulder caps. What are shoulder caps? That's muscle. Abs. That's leanness and muscle. Glutes. That's muscle. So, um, but uh, that we just, uh, we flip, we miss the package. Frustrated. <laughs> yes, we're both frustrated. I'm pissed. <laughs> Um, not at anybody in particular, to be honest with you, or at, like, the judges or the show or anything like that. Just that I liked how I looked last week, and that's the package that I was, like, wanting to take. But instead, you know, we listened to the feedback of, you know, other people and we looked at past shows and I'll tell you when I got third at Master Nationals I was way softer than I am right now like I was I even had a little belly like I was bloated and I got third there so you know just kind of off of judging like past shows and things like that you know we went for a little bit more of a softer look and some of the feedback that I have gotten um, at shows has been that I'm too lean and that I need to soften up. But I think that the leanness and the, the, well, I wouldn't say leanness. I would say the, the hard, hard look that I had last week, um, wasn't to the point of being skinny. Now I have got on stage at like 117, 118 pounds. And yes, I was too lean. I was skinny. Um, last week, I don't think that I looked that way. So, you know, it's live and learn. And, you know, next time I'm just going to take what I feel comfortable with. And, you know, if I get knocked down for it, then I do. <laughs> but if I don't, at least I'll feel good about, you know, what I brought to the stage. So, um, as his shirt says, it's, it's you versus you. So... This is not a sport where it's, you know, you against everyone else. It's you against your best self. And while I believe my best self was last week, I will say that, again, just like he said, this is the best I have ever looked at the fullness 
with a little bit of softness to me. Um, with zero belly bloat, my stomach was flat. I felt, you know, I felt good. So, um, and that's all that you can do. So you can only do your best and the cards will just fall where the cards fall. Um, I think eventually <laughs> when that might be, mine will fall in the right place. But until then, I'm going to keep trying. You wanted to add something? Yeah, it's, it's the best package, I think, of fullness and tummy tightness. Um, but we had what got awarded. We had that two weeks ago, 10 days ago, seven days ago. And that's the frustrating part. We had what they, what the top five was. And in saying that, we could have brought that package and it still gone got what we got. It could have gone the other way. We could have brought that package and they could have went with the softer look. <laughs> so Or brought the package and still not And still not five, have gotten so. good. Yeah, so, mm -hmm. I mean, that's the thing about it. Like, it's a subjective sport. You, The judges can only judge what they have to judge that day. And if all the, if the majority of the girls come in harder, they're gonna go with a harder look. If the majority of the girls come in softer, they're gonna go with a softer look. It's nobody's fault, really. Just like he said, the frustration with both of us just lies in the fact that I had what first callouts had nine days ago. So, you know, really even seven days ago. So. And then, bikini competitors ask themselves well what package should I bring what should I bring my advice bring what you like because really it's all about who shows up in the class if nine shredded girls show up and there's one soft girl where they're gonna the top five is gonna be shredded if there's nine soft girls and one shredded girl, well, that shredded girl's not going to be in the top five. She's the outcast. So, really, it, it depends on what the majority of that class is. Yep. So, I don't know what show I'm going to do yet. I'm going to sleep on it. I had thought maybe Universe because I'm pretty much already in shape and I can easily get back to what I was nine days ago. Um, we just stopped having me do double carbs, pretty much, right? Adding a little cardio. Yeah. So, I, I haven't done cardio in almost two weeks. Um, because I kept dropping and we were trying to fill me out. So, you know, I do a little cardio. I go back to my normal meal plan. I guarantee you I'll be ready within four or five days. That's just how my body responds. So, um, I'm going to sleep on it tonight. Um, Ryan and I will maybe discuss it on the drive home tomorrow. Um, and then kind of go from there. Um, so yeah, um, that's pretty much it guys. I will check back in with you, um, after the night show. So, bye. Also, let me come back on here real quick. I forgot to add this. Um, I don't know this for sure. But if I had to guess, I was probably the oldest in my class. So, for those of you that don't know, I am 37. Um, so, I will say this to, even though I was in last callouts, I got moved to the center of last callouts, which made me feel pretty good. Because, to be honest with you guys, I still have room for improvement and room for gains to be made um so that kind of made me feel like I could still be competitive with some of my younger cohorts there so that did make me feel good on that level um because one thing I was worried about was like I'm gonna be the oldest one on there like I'm gonna be the oldest one competing against girls that are like 15 years younger than I am so um, yeah, anyway, I just wanted to add that, um, I actually feel pretty proud of myself for that, so, anyway. Alright guys, so we are on the way back to the venue, um, as you saw, we went, we ate, had a hamburger, 
Um, to be honest with you, I'm not even really that hungry. Um, we have a blueberry butt cake and some ice cream that we got at the grocery store that looks amazing that I hope to have when we get back. Um, but um, we had some time before the night show, so we just went back to the Airbnb and I just kind of started packing up and getting things situated uh, because we have to be out tomorrow at um, 11 a.m. So we've pretty much lived there for nine days. So um, we have stuff kind of everywhere. So yeah, um, I'm gonna give myself today to feel um, sad and frustrated about, you know, how things went, but that's all I'm gonna dwell on it. After that, I'm gonna move on. Um, I'm gonna make the decision tomorrow whether or not to do Universe. I really don't know yet. Um, competing is not cheap. So, I have a friend that I met two years ago, um, and I met her through competing, and we've stayed in contact. We're very much like the same personality and on the same level. She's already told me that she's going and that if I want to go, I could ride with her, and she's got the room covered and all that kind of stuff because she's going to be going anyway. So, pretty much the only thing I'd have to pay for would go be the entry. The stop sign. The then entry the fees. One, turn left. So, you know, then it would be just deciding, should I just do Masters or should I do Masters and Open? I don't know. So, I'm going to think about that tomorrow. I'm just going to go and watch the show tonight. I had a friend that was in this show um, who trains at Iron House, and she just turned pro. So, I hope I get a chance to see her before she leaves. I don't know if she'll still be around, but um, she turned pro in women's physique, so that's super exciting for her. Um, and then I had two suit sponsors in this show as well. Um, one got in second call outs. The one got in second call outs. The other one got in first call outs. And it's looking like maybe top three for her. Um, so, anyway, um, it was a good day, all in all. Um, lesson learned. I'm just going to go with my gut instinct next time. So, anyway, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, we're going to go hit this night show. If I can get some video for you, I will. And I'm going to go to the Airbnb after this, shower, um, get all of this makeup off. Like, that's the best part of this is, like, showering, pulling off your eyelashes, getting your makeup off. Um, and enjoy some blueberry bundt cake and ice cream so anyway i'll check with you on you guys later